top of the league looking down on the Rangers. Celtic today take on the Rangers 2012. In a week where the build-up to the Glasgow derby has been relatively low-key, considering all that is riding on the match, there has been plenty of transfer speculation surrounding Celtic FC. With the Celtic Football Club looking to seal deals for Cameron Carter-Vickers and Hotter at the end of the season, they have also been linked with Ola Solbakken from Bodo Glimt and Hammerby's Mohaned Gs. Celtic it is being reported are also interested in signing Russian goalkeeper Nikita Haikin. Haikin was born in Netanya in Israel but also hold a dual citizenship with Russia. The 26-year-old currently plays for Celtic's Euro Conquerors Bodo Glimt and has appeared for the Russians at U19 level and below. In 23 appearances, Haikin has conceded 29 goals and kept six clean sheets in all competitions. Incredibly, 23 of the goals conceded were done so in European competition. The goalkeeper's contract runs out in December of this year, but it is thought that the Norwegians will accept offers in the region of £500,000 for his services rather than lose him for free at the end of their season. Celtic require backup to Joe Hart in the goalkeeping position, as Vasilis Barkers will be moved on in the summer and lack of game time for Scott Bain this season does suggest that maybe, the Celtic manager doesn't trust the Scottish keeper, between the sticks. According to American media outlet SBI Soccer, Celtic are in advance talks over a permanent deal for Carter Vickers. As per normal before we play them. The media are suggesting Premier League sides have also expressed an interest, in the eight-cap United States international. Celtic chief executive Michael Nicholson has been put in charge of negotiating the central defender's permanent switch to Celtic FC despite manager Angie Postacogla being branded the chairman of the board in terms of football recruitment by owner Dermot Desmond. It is understood that those in Carter Vickers camp believe remaining at Celtic is the best option as, after enjoying the finest spell of his career, he could take his game to the next level. Look he will be playing the Champions League next year with Celtic FC. So the media that follow that other lot, better get used to him staying in Scotland for a few years yet. Looking ahead to the summer transfer window, if the Hoops are able to finally get rid of Barkers, adding Hiking to their ranks as his replacement could be a good bit of business for the club. All other deals will be done well before the club starts pre-season. And at noon today in the east end of Glasgow, the Celtic manager, will turn his attention once again to achieving three points that will edge Celtic to the brink of their 10th crown in 11 years. A victory will propel this Celtic FC team nine points ahead with a mere three games to play, with two at home to Hearts on Saturday, and Motherwell a week after that with a trip to Tanadis to take on Dundee United sandwiched in between. Postacogla is deservedly poised to take his place in Celtic history. Give me the score predictions today. I will go Celtic 2 Sevco nil. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday you said tomorrow, so just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not going to stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the